It's the most wonderful time of the year. Today we will be making dairy-free pumpkin punch a crap. All right, so we're gonna make a punch cream a bit differently from that traditional Trinidadian version. We're going to be using coconut milk, local pumpkin. Um, we have some sugar here. We will zest a lime. We have an array of spices. We do have some cornstarch. Now, the purpose of the cornstarch is just to kind of help with that mouthfeel of a traditional punch cream. So we're gonna to start to cook everything together. First, we're gonna to add to the pot the coconut milk. That's gonna make it super creamy. We are going to infuse the milk with our spices. We have a bay leaf. We're gonna put in some cinnamon. Throw in some cloves because it is Christmas. A little bit of nutmeg. All right, nice nutmeg flavor there. And we are going to zest some of our lime. So you will get some of that citrus flavor, as well as the spices. Beautiful. Now the stove is on a low heat, just so we can get those flavors starting to blend. And to this, we're gonna add our pumpkin. So it's pumpkin that's just been cut up very small so that it will cook quick, so we'll be able to blend it. Pumpkin. And we're gonna bring this up to us um, to a boil and then reduce to simmer so that the pumpkin cooks and all these spices come together and the pumpkin gets soft so we can then be able to puree it. Okay, so now that our mixture has come to a gentle roll, we're gonna first make a slurry. So with that cornstarch, you're gonna take some of your hot liquid. So you're bringing this up to temperature essentially. Mix, mix, mix. You can use a fork as well to help make this nice and smooth. Beautiful. And then with this slurry, I am going to add this now back to the pot. We're going to add our sugar. And just uh, two pinches of salt. And we're just going to let this simmer till the pumpkin is cooked. Okay, so we've had this mixture simmering now for about 30 minutes and it smells amazing. So we're just gonna check to ensure that the pumpkin is cooked. So let's have a little test here, pick up a few, took the back of a fork and it's pretty much all set there. So we're gonna transfer this mixture to our blender to process. I'm just gonna remove the um, bay leaf as well as the cinnamon sticks. our gorgeous mixture and there are some cloves there so we're actually gonna go ahead and strain out those pieces but it looks super creamy okay so now that we've strained our mixture here we have to make punch a cram with that punch so let's add in some of our angostura bitters couple dashes extra generous and then of course the rum so we have Fernandez black label rum here let's crack this okay. so do we need to measure we'll just do some measuring here let's see how much I'm gonna start with a cup and then you can always depending on your preference add more rum I think we have enough room here if we need to top up let's add that there I'm just gonna mix this up. Oh, it's not my punch of cream now. <laughs> Low taste this. Make sure it's nice and balanced. Spices, oh, that rum is there. And <laughs> I mixed it. <laughs> the bitters give it 
a beautiful finish. With pumpkin, it is incredible. Okay, yeah, this is really good. <laughs> so delicious. Okay, now we can do it with the nice. ice. All right, so we are going to prepare two versions of this punch or cream cocktail. We're going to do it warm as well as like over ice because it's so delicious and creamy and inviting as a warm beverage. So I'm going to pour a little bit in here. And then to finish it off, ooh, thumbs up, a dash of bitters. Perfect. And some freshly grated nutmeg. This will keep you nice and warm on a cooler afternoon or cooler morning. Gorgeous. And then over ice, nice so refreshing punch gram. Get some of our crushed ice. Beautiful. And we're gonna try this orange bitters, orange angustory bitters. Add a little slightly different dimension to that there. Woo. Time to enjoy. Just turn on some ice. This is nice and refreshing. When you have this dark rum, which is actually a gorgeous pairing for the pumpkin, it brought it together. I know traditionally we would tend to use a clear rum, but this dark rum was perfect for, for this pumpkin punch of rum. And I don't miss eggs or any of the other milk because that coconut milk was super rich and flavorful. And then the corn starch just kind of helps pull it all together for that perfect mouth feel. The Bitters, just the final touch, just to bring all those spices that we placed in there, just kind of put it all together. And of course, who doesn't like some rum, you know? It is Christmas season. So. Okay, so we were also inspired to see how else can we showcase Panchagram. So, apart from a drink, let's, uh, you know, tweak it a bit and make it as part of a dessert. So we have these uh, chocolate cupcakes, and the inspiration kind of came from Trace Leche's cake. I know this doesn't have three types of milk, but it's just the inspiration behind it. So these are chocolate cupcakes. We're just gonna pierce some holes in them and we're going to pour that punch of cream in it or over it. I cannot tell you how excited I am, but Daria and I have been waiting for this moment. <laughs> so just piercing some holes there so the mixture can go through and it's still nice and warm, which is perfect. So I'm not gonna get too excited and pour too much, but Okay, yeah, no, that didn't work, but that's okay. It's gonna go through. I already see it kind of going through there. It's a little bit messy, but let it, let's just see. Okay, we're gonna give it a couple minutes just for it to work its way through this cupcake and then we're gonna try it. <laughs> Pumpkin punch a gram over chocolate cake. Hmm. That rum is prominent. It is, it is so good. And it's still mild because of course chocolate will take on a dark rum flavor perfectly. So it just, it actually complements it really, really well. Now, of course, if you do this like over a sheet, a sheet pancake, that would be perfect because it gets to actually set and it will go through all the different, um, it will, it will kind of get to seep and soak, soak into the cake. But this combination of punch of cream and cake is delicious. So we do hope that you give this dairy-free pumpkin punch of cream a try. As you can see, there are many ways that you can use it, a warm cocktail, a cold, refreshing beverage, or even as part of a rum sauce for your favorite desserts. Thank you to Angostura Aromatic Bitters for sponsoring this video. I do wish you and your loved ones a very Merry Christmas.